Welcome back everyone. So this is going to be a continuation video to the previous one that we made on spline design. So once again, spline design is this amazing tool which allows you to create 3D objects with very minimal effort and it's a very intuitive software. I just loved it. So you can go and check it out. And in the previous video, we actually made a device like this and we applied a screen on it and then we laid it to create multiple devices and we kind of created a 3D mockup presentation for an app promo. So if you want to check that, I'll mention the link in the description or on the card right here. So you can go ahead and check that out. It's a very brief intro to the software and allows you to get started on this. So in the previous video, I actually forgot to touch base on the animation features of this, which is really interesting. So I thought I'll just make a really quick video to show you how to create some basic animations on this tool. So just like Figma and XD, where you have auto and smart animate, you just have to create two states and the software or the tool takes care of the animation. So even Spline is a similar kind of a tool, which allows you to create states and the animation is taken care by the tool itself. So right here we have this device. So what what I'll do is maybe I'll just create a base for this and then we'll rotate this device on the base. I'm not much prepared for this video. I'm just trying to make something really rough and quick just to showcase you how the animation works here. So as I told you, the first thing I'll try to create is a base for this device. So maybe I'll go to the plus tool here and then use a cylinder. So one more thing that I missed to tell in the previous video is the cloner feature. So you have a cloner option here, which allows you to duplicate objects multiple times. So what you do is just click on the cloner option here. By default, it goes to the radial option. So to show you that currently it's at count three. So I'll just zoom out. So you can see that it is placed in a radial manner. So as I keep increasing the count, you can see cylinder gets multiplied multiple times. So I just want three for now, but I don't want it in a radial fashion. So I want it in a linear pattern there you go we have it in a linear option right here but i want it stacked one over the other so what i'll do is i'll change the exposition to zero so now basically it's exactly overlapping that cylinder itself so i want it to be in a y-axis so with a gap of maybe like 30 so there you go we have it at 30 gap and i want it to reduce gradually so what i'll do is i'll change the scale to minus 0.1 or maybe a bit more so minus 0.2 and also the the Z scale. So if I just rotate this, you can see that is only reducing in one angle. But what I'll do is I'll change the Z also to minus 0.2 and you have everything perfectly in circles. So right now you can see how it looks. I'll just change the device a bit more to the top here. Uh, maybe I'll try changing the color to something like a white. You can also go ahead and add materials to this one. That is also something that you can play around with. Yeah, this look fine. You can actually just go to Google and find texture images and just paste it here and apply it to the texture. So that is also something that you can do. So I'll just uh, move this base a bit more to the front. So now that this is done, what I'll do is I'll just click on this and create the animation. So to create the animation, you basically have to create different states here. We'll create the first base state for which I'll just rotate this one to maybe like Y axis rotation of minus 20. And also I'll give it a bit of a tilt here. So something like this. So this is gonna be a base state and we'll create a new state here and we'll reset these rotation values and we'll tilt it to the opposite direction. Again, a Y axis of 20 degrees and we'll tilt it towards the back a bit. So uh, we basically have two states here. You can toggle between the two states and see how it looks. So what I'll do is uh, I'll go to the events option, click on plus and that will create an event. So you have different interactions where you can put uh, on mouse hover if you want it to happen when you hover on it. But if you just wanted to start on clicking on preview, you can click on start here. So that is what I'll use. And this is the empty object that is selected already. And I wanted to go to state one. So basically we are in base state. We want to go to state one, which is selected here and I want to repeat it continuously. So I'll turn on the cycle and rewind. Yes, I want to repeat it continuously. Yes. And here you have the easing options. So ease in and ease out. You can go for cubic and enter your own values. Uh, I like ease in, ease out. So I'll go for that. And maybe I'll change the duration to 1.5 seconds here. And that's it. Uh, we have the animation ready. So Spline takes care of animating everything from this state to this state. All you have to do is click on the play button here. And there you go, you have an amazing animation right there. So I can just zoom out, look it up from different angles here. So I can place it at a different angle like this. 
So that is really amazing. Uh, this is just a basic animation that I've tried here, but you can do a lot more things with this. So maybe I'll just uh, turn off this base that we created. So you can use this to hide the layer. I'll try to basically uh, duplicate this one itself and see what happens. So I'll press on Command D or Control D and that basically duplicates the thing in the same position. And maybe I'll just place it somewhere here and one I'll place it somewhere here. And now just see what happens if I click on play. There you go, you have a cool animation with just duplicating a couple of layers. So if I rotate it like this, you can see how multiple devices come out of the same position. You can do a lot of animations like this. This is just a basic intro to what you can do and how to basically animate things on Spline. So I hope you found this helpful and as always, thanks for watching.